if you've ever wanted to successfully ship some comics without damage, stay tuned for this video. Give it a like. Okay? Thanks. <laughs>
anybody that's purchased books from me knows that I ship like they're ready for the apocalypse, that they will survive a trip through the apocalypse and get to their owner safely. Because I have had quite a few books that I've purchased from people and they have not come through the mail safely. Which is not cool at all. So I want to be the cool guy that ships comics safely and secure. So I'm going to do that on all four corners, four sides of the book. Um, not I, Remember to not press really hard on the book because, again, we're all collectors. We're purchasing books for our collection or, you know, to flip books. Some of you flip books, but that's, that's cool too. Uh, but a lot of people that order from me are just trying to add to their collection. So now this book is nice and secure on this one piece of cardboard. And no, I'm not shipping it that way. So then I'm going to take the second piece of cardboard that I cut. And again, I'm going to tape it down. with pull tabs. I'm just gonna sandwich this book in between two very stiff pieces of cardboard. And I'll probably fast forward this. Now, as you can see, we have the pull tabs. Makes it nice and easy for the new owner of this awesome book to take their comic out of it. And I know this might seem like overkill, but guess what? It needs to survive the apocalypse. So now I'm gonna sandwich this. Actually, hold on. Something I like to do, just to make sure that that cardboard is staying in place as I take some of this painter's tape and I put it on one side like this to make it the double side stick tape. Can you see that? Okay, there you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And all these supplies are pretty minimal costs. Like I said, the stuff from USPS is free. And now I put that in here like that. Nice, firm. Again, see, safe. And then I take this one, sandwich it on top. And guess what? More tape. Again, I'll fast forward. There you have it. Nice, secure, in a holder. Pretty much a homemade Gemini mailer. Pretty much, kind of, sort of, maybe not. But, as you can see, let's see, right there. You can see the book uh, in there. It's nice and secure. It's not gonna go anywhere. And then what I do now is I take one of those bubble mailers, this one, and I just put the book inside like so. And then seal it up. And then you're good to go. Easy peasy. And then once it's in here, take that Sharpie. Do not bend. And I put that on both sides. And hopefully that they can read and uh, be nice to the package. And then it should be safe, get into the owner, the new owner. Pretty nice, right? Do not bend. There you go. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. 
uh, let me know in the comments if you liked it. Uh, if you have any other ideas of maybe a DIY that you'd like for me to do, um, put it in the comments, let me know. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Again, I have another one planned, another DIY um, for people that want to submit to CGC signings and such, or just take books to artist signings or whatever. Uh, again, thanks for watching, appreciate it, and uh, Road to 100, remember, share. Bye. However, sometimes you don't have a Gemini mailer to make it that, that easy. Hmm. If you've ever wondered the bit Oh.